Hey, hi, hello, yo, what's up, y'all? So, first of all, I want to thank everybody for all of the love you guys been giving and subscribing, sharing, and just checking out my content. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, so, I'm here today to um, talk about some things that um, are really popular in today's culture as far as looks and appearances. And as you guys know, I have a really long beard and um, a lot of men want that aesthetic, they want that look. And I'm here today to help you guys out with any growth problems or issues you may have when it comes to trying to get a long beard or trying to even have some kind of growth with your beard journey. We're now in September. Let's talk about um, No Shave November and um, how all you guys could try to get your beard growth growing so hopefully by December you get a nice lineup and you will have a full beard. So what I like to do is when I go to the barber, I tell them to always just line it up. Don't ever trim it. I'll trim my own beard if needed, but I don't really trust people when it comes to cutting the length of hair as opposed to lining hair up in a barber shop, if that made any sense. So first off, I'm gonna start with my beard routine and what I usually do. So maybe every two to three days, I'll wash my beard. And um, like the hair on your head, you don't wanna wash it too much because it'll dry out, it'll get brittle. And from what I've realized, beard hair is a completely different texture than the hair on your head for you guys out there. And for you ladies that may have a beard, I don't judge, just kidding. <laughs> but um, I'm here today to share some insight I may have with you guys about the beard growth process, how you can try to grow your beard longer um, to keep it moisturized and clarified just like you would um, any other hair on your body. So this is for the gentlemen and the ladies out there that see their man struggling and want to try to help him to grow his beard. So I'm gonna get right into what I do. So first of all, I'll usually wash my beard as I would my regular hair with any kind of all-purpose shampoo or specifically beard shampoo. Yes, that is the thing. They do have beard shampoo as well as beard conditioner. Um, Badger as well as Bulldog are two really great brands. They sell it at Walgreens, they sell it at Whole Foods, they sell beard stuff literally anywhere. So be sure to check the cosmetic aisle and I'm sure you will find something. So what I did today, as you guys see my beard is a little bit damp and glistening, <laughs> I took some Dr. Bronner's all-purpose castor um, shampoo, well, wash rather, and it's a hemp tea tree and tea tree smells really great. I love this fragrance, it smells really good. I know everybody's used to the peppermint one, which is fantastic as well. I don't have the peppermint one, so that's why I'm using this one. But this one does the same exact thing, if not more. I feel like it clarifies my skin, as well as any razor bumps I may or may not have. It'll help to subside them and cool them down, which is great for if you're just coming from the barber as well and you're taking a shower. You definitely want to wash your, at least from the beard down, or if not your face, with this. This is really, really great. I stick by this. It's really phenomenal. So now that you guys seen that I wash my hair, what I like to do is I like to pick it. And I just pick it through. Get all the tangles and the knots out. My beard is not as knotty today, thank God. <laughs> and combing it is very essential because it'll help to pull the follicles and it'll help to get the length or the actual length you would like to see. I see a lot of men have flat ironed their beard in the past. That's not something I really like to do because I feel like the flat iron is a lot of heat. Um, sometimes I'll blow it out with the pick, but that again is to just get the knots out and to give it kind of that poofy look. So, what I do after I'm done picking everything and getting all of the excess water out is I would moisturize it. And um, a lot of moisturizers I like to use are all purpose. Again, I don't like to use specifics because I don't know what I may need to use it for. So, I have this beard oil, which I'm going to use, and it's by Badger. And I'm also going to mix that with a little bit of my friend's coconut and shea butter mixture. 
And um, this right here, this coconut shea butter mixture is really like soft, it's really refined and pure. And um, his name is Richard and he does have a shea butter and beauty skin line on Instagram and it'll be in the description in my bio if anybody is willing to check that out. Um, he also does massages and he has his own massage table. He's legit. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to show you guys the consistency of how this is. It's really like, again, soft and really like smooth. It smells great. I mixed it with a little bit of lavender. So I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to take a bit of this. I don't want my beard to be too oily now because this is going to be my protective style <laughs> for my beard. So this is the usual I do. I do maybe five, six, depending. My edges, <laughs> all my baby hairs is good. So I'm gonna just leave that alone. And I'll be back. All right guys, we're back. And now it's time to un-